guys and welcome back to my channel going right into brows I'm using the Anastasia brow definer in medium brown and I'm just going to go across my brow towards the tail and just fill this in and I'm just going to blend it out with a spoolie on the other end I haven't used this in a while so I feel like why not pick it up I try to use different products almost every time I do my face just to see what I like, what I don't like, what I missed, um, certain things like that. So I'm just doing little short strokes, blending it out, you know the deal. And then we are going to set the brows with the Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia as well. And I'm just going to bring those hairs up. You guys know I like my brows hairy for the most part. Hairy looking and defined, I guess. I'm going to use an E62 and the P. Louise Base. And we're going to pat this all over the lid. I really want it to be super, super opaque. So I'm going to pat first, making sure I get enough product on there. And then you can either blend it out with your finger or just continue to pat and blend out. You know, it's super, super easy to blend. And I bring it out all the way past the brow because just in case I bring the shadow out more to kind of extend the eye, that is why I do it. I'm using the Kylie Jenner Extended Bronze Palette today. I'm obsessed with it. It's my new go-to. Seriously, it's amazing. And I'm using Tiger's Eye and the M515 brush. And I'm going to put this in the crease. This is going to be our basic transition color. I'm just going back and forth, blending like normal. And this base just helps the blend. Oh my god. Oh so well. It is probably my favorite base I've ever used. Um, I've used Painterly for years, but I feel like Painterly does dry out my eye area. I've really just been holding on to this for a bit. Like, this is my baby. Like, I sleep with it at night, but not really. I'm gonna take Citrine and do the same thing, going in the crease and around the lid area because I wanted to warm it up a little bit. Um, this orange color is so gorgeous. I kind of forgot how much I love the bronze palette because I do have the original. And even though I do have that one, I wanted to get this one because it had more colors and I'm sure the formulas are better and they are, I feel like. And yeah, it's just, just what I wanted more. And especially to go away, I feel like I'll bring this palette everywhere. I'm taking Goddess and I'm just blending this out with a, I think this is like the Kylie blending brush. And I'm just blending this all over the lid up into the crease. This is one of the most interesting colors because it's a matte with a little sparkle in it. Which kind of gives a little bit of a satiny matte kind of feel because it does have that shimmer so it does give a little glow. I'm going to use copper now. And I'm wetting the brush. This is also a Kylie angled brush. And I'm just lining the lid. Not doing a wing, not doing anything crazy. The way this liner stuck, or this eyeshadow stuck as a liner, it was amazing. I was like actually shocked with the crazy amount of pigmentation. Using Milk's Kush Mascara, I'm just going to coat my lashes. But seriously, I was so happy with the way the liner came out. I was just like, bam, I'm happy. I used these shadows as liners. It's great. They don't look chalky or anything like that. They're awesome. Introducing the new lash of Gigi Bell Lashes. These are sugar and we are gonna pop these babies on. They are now available on the website. You will notice my prices went down a little bit because I wanted to be a little bit more affordable for you guys. So there are new prices on the website, so I hope you guys check that out. And don't forget, you can get 20% off if you use code SUBBY in all caps. And yeah, GigiBellLashes.com. You know, on the plug. Put in the plug. Ear, ear. All right. Moving on to Tatcha's water cream. I'm putting that all over my face because this girl needs some hydration. Even though it's been so hot in New York, I'm putting it all over my face anyway. And for the primer, I'm using the Pore Minimizing CoverGirl primer, and I actually love it. One, I love the smell. I actually was obsessed with the smell and then it actually really felt good on the skin and I'm using the true blend matte made foundation by covergirl this is in t15 I'm using a Sigma 3d HD kabuki brush to put this on I wanted to test this foundation out I've seen it everywhere and I got a huge PR package of it and how can I not test this out um, so it is super super nice it's got good coverage you can build it up as much as you want and it's not too matte 
I still felt like my skin looked like my skin, but just not super, super shiny, which I really, really liked. So I'm just putting that all over, blending it out. This is my favorite blush brush to blend with. You guys know this is my, my go-to when things are clean in the brush area. I'm using the Laura Mercier Concealer. I have the colors down below. I think it's W2 or C2 and W3, I believe. Might be. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. Oh, I definitely might be wrong. So just going to put this in the normal areas where I want to brighten. I never really do the chin area. I don't know why, but I should because it's the dimension of my face that I want to kind of bring out so my face doesn't look super round. So Gianna, you should be doing that more. I'm going to do the Cupid's bow as well and then just blend this all out with the Quickie Blending Sponge from Tarte. And you guys know the deal. I'm using the darker concealer first. And then blending it out with the foundation brush just to make sure it doesn't look too white. And then I'm using the lighter color in the corner. I learned this from Katie Luster Lux. I absolutely love this little trick she does. I mean, I'm sure it's been around, but like I kind of forgot so that you really can use two concealers. You know, you don't have to use one color. You can mix it up. I'm gonna do the forehead as well, bring a little bit of dimension there. I never really do that either, I don't know why. Um, I think because I feel like my forehead's not, I don't know, I really, you know what, I really don't know. There's no reason, there's no rhyme or reason. We're gonna set with the translucent powder, the Locket Setting Powder by Kat Von D. Doing the under eyes a little bit and then going on the sides of the nose and on the bridge. And then of course we're going to wipe this down below the cheekbones to cut it and on the chin and I'm going to do a little bit on the forehead as well just to kind of set that. I'm using the Rimmel Natural Bronzer with a Benefit bronzing brush. I actually really like this one because it's super super soft and it just like applies the bronzer really nice. The bronzer is in 022. I forgot the name. I think it's just Sun Bronzer but it's in that shade, and I just put this all over. Favorite drugstore bronzer, hands down. Actually, favorite bronzer right now is this one because it just makes my skin look so nice and tan without being orange. Using Tarte's Exposed Blush, I'm putting that all over the cheeks. And then I'm taking Goddess again, and I'm going to put this on the lower lash line and smoke that baby out. You guys know the deal? I think I'm using like a small brush from Morphe. And I'm just going to coat the lashes with the Kush Mascara again. And in the corners, I'm putting Chakra, which is another new color. Super, super bright. The metallics are crazy pigmented. So much better than they used to be. It's actually insane. And then I'm just going to wipe away all the powder with an F37 by Sigma. And then I'm t putting Jasper on the brow bone. This was also in the original. I forgot how much putting a matte, like pale cream or white on the brow, like opens up your whole eye. It like makes it look bigger and just more blended and just, I loved it. I'm using Jeffree Star's King Tut Highlighter. We wanted some super glow today. So I went in on this highlighter. <laughs> with the Morphe M501 brush and bam, I literally blinded everyone I saw that day because it was just so bright and I forgot how powerful that highlight is. For lips, I'm using Kylie's Ginger Lip Liner. This is my one of my favorite colors to use as a base. Honestly, I actually use this lip liner by itself because it's just that nice and super smooth and more moisturizing than a lot of other lip liners I've used. Over that I'm going with Exposed the Matte Liquid Lipstick and I want to try Kim's new lipsticks and the liners, especially the liners because I love liners. Um, so I really probably that will be my next purchase. I don't need it but I need it at the same time to guys to show you. You know? I want to review it for you guys. So I'm going back with the liner. 
setting with the All Nighter Spray by Urban Decay. And that is it, you guys. That is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below how you feel, how you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Like it if you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments below also what you want to see next. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.